Well, I want to start by welcoming you to the channel. Ladies and gentlemen, if you've been here before, thank you so much for coming back. If you haven't been here before, welcome. Glad to have you here. Quick little video today. Been looking for a snow machine sleigh now for, I don't know, about a week or so. Uh, I've owned one for probably the past seven years. Uh, well, I didn't really own it. It belonged to one of my neighbors. And uh, unfortunately for me, he just bought a snow machine this weekend. So, kind of lost the sleigh, but that's all right. I'm glad that he's got a snow machine now. We can get out there and we can ride and do some fishing and stuff. So, I picked this up today at a place uh, here in Sudbury called Ramacos Tackle. And uh, I'm really excited to get this opened up, put it together with you guys. We're gonna go through it. It's an Otter Pro Series sled. The kit came with, uh, came with the sliders underneath, came with the cover and the drawbar and all that good stuff. So whole point of this video is to put this together and see if we can get all of this in this sleigh. And maybe a bit more. There always has to be room for beverages. Let's start by opening it up here. What do we got? Uh, so these are the Hyfax kits. So I believe these are the rails that go underneath to protect the bottom of it, if I'm not mistaken. And then we have this box here. And in this box, it looks like we have a cover. We have our tow hitch kit. And we have a thank you for your purchase. You are welcome. All right. Let's see what we got. I guess we'll start with that. I don't know if I got a drill or check I might have to drill. I doubt they glue on. Some assembly required. That hurt. Yeah, we have wow. Okay. Oh, this might not go as quickly as I thought it was going to. Tools required. Hammer, 3 8 socket and ratchet, 5 30 seconds or 1 8 drill bit, a drill driver and an Allen bit. Allen bit. I need an Allen bit for. Uh, I don't know. So, yeah, I guess these are gonna go. How about a torch too to bend those guys? So, I think we'll start with be installing that one in there like so and uh, work our way back we got one two three four five okay so i have the correct amount hey that's cool so far i'm pretty impressed 359 dollars i'm very impressed wow okay let me get some tools
right, so next we're going to grab the Allen head bolt thingamabobbers and we're going to insert the 3 16 washer on top of them. And these are going to go in the holes that we just pre-drilled. The reason why I'm doing it this way is I'm going to... Oh, God damn. I'm going to actually bolt these into place or screw them into place because it's super cold in the garage and this has been sitting outside all day these things are not very pliable currently so what we're going to do is the plan is to heat them up once they're bolted down we're going to heat them up and we're just going to let them lay as they would say Scratch the hell out of it. All right, now we're going to tighten those down. Before I go any further in this video, one thing I want to do is uh, give a huge shout out to uh, Ramacos. I was in there today, uh, probably had to be uh, close to one o'clock. The place was jam packed. I mean, that place is hopping. And the service I received there was absolutely second to none. I mean, I was looked after as quickly as possible. Actually, the guy was serving two other people came to me, told me what I need to know real quickly while serving somebody else, came back to me, had somebody else come to him. He said, I'm sorry, I got to serve this gentleman first. Came to me, got my slate. I was in and out of there, I bet you, in about eight minutes, flat. Uh, so shout out to you, Ramacos. You're doing a fantastic job. I'm going back because I'm going to be honest. Uh, last time I was there was probably five, six years ago. You earned my business today. And I'm not scared to say it. And I think we need more of that, especially during these times when everybody's really crabby and grouchy. Not these people. Best service I've gotten anywhere in years. Thank you. I can uh, with some certainty say I know one reason why it's very inexpensive is because it takes you 25 minutes to put these guys in. Thing to mention about the quality very very sturdy and uh, you know what hats off to you uh, otter for including extra screws in case you lose one or two so there we go so there we go that was uh 15 minutes now we're going to flip it over and we're going to put the bolts on or we're going to put the nuts on inside
I'm just sitting here thinking while I'm putting these bolts on and these washers. Why are those things called a high fax kit? High fax. Why not just call them runners or sliders or sleigh protectors? That's how my brain works. I know. I was also thinking how good supper was tonight. Yeah, it was chicken breasts in a crock pot with like stew on top and potatoes and carrots and my wife knocked it out of the park with that one. Nice. Well, that took more than a minute, that's for sure. But went together fairly well. No issues at all. Very well constructed. So far, so good. And again, Otter, great job with the spare hardware. In case you drop something. All right, what do we got here? Here this should be. This should be. Where's my knife? Here we got the hitch kit. At least what I think is the hitch kit. Oh yeah, it's gotta be the hitch kit. Yes it is. So we got some hardware and some clips. And here's our receiver. Oh yeah, it's even got the little springs for the cushioning. our two bars and that's it oh, this looks a lot quicker than putting on the high fax kit hi I don't understand high fax these are really high quality tie straps all right so how does this guy go together let's see So it's looking like we are going to assemble it. Like so. Where goes the top or the bottom? It goes at the bottom. So it goes down. Flip that. So that goes in here like so. I think I'm going to like that this is a quick disconnect bar with these pins because this design you can't fold it over inside for storage. Thirteen millimeter socket and open end. These are nylock nuts. They have nylon on them. So they're supposed to be self-locking. So there's no need for any thread locker. I'm going to give these a good little... Hoo-ya! There we go. So that was pretty simple. Well, that was fairly simple. And there we have our assembled sleigh. All right, so here we have our cover. Not quite sure what kind of quality it is, but it's better than it's hard. Oh yeah, 
That's not bad. That's not bad at all. So this must be this must be the rear. Or not. That's better. Oh, yeah. Very nice. All right. So now the most important part, can I get all of this stuff in my sleigh? That would be the important part of it all. So let's start with this guy. The ice hut. Check. My fishing case. Huge. Huge fishing. Really don't need anything that big, honestly, but. Camera. Check. Fishing rods. Yep. Bait. Uh-huh. Chair. Yep. Heater. I have a bag for the heater, so it doesn't get knocked around too badly. Check. And our racks, check, and our homemade ice thickness measuring stick. All right, I don't think I'm forgetting anything. Oh, and we are in business. Very nice. And it stores the stuff too. So there you have it, everybody. 100% roto molded Otter Pro Series sled. Purchased this from Romacos here in Sudbury in the South End. Again, thank you very much guys over at Romaco for the great service today. I'm very happy. This was the only kit that they had was in the medium. Uh, dimensions in this guy, so it's 65 inches long, it's 32 inches wide, and it's 15 inches high. And as you saw, the actual cover does allow you to put higher objects. Uh, I would still recommend tie strapping over top so stuff doesn't rattle around or fall out the sides. But again, fantastic, super happy. We're ready to go this weekend, wherever we decide going. I might film that and show you guys show you us not catching anything because that's what we do. We go out there and we just sit there and freeze our feet. That's a great time. There's no better way to freeze your feet than fishing. Thank you again. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to subscribe. It really helps the channel and it doesn't cost you anything. You press the button and you're done. And hit that little bell notification thing and hit the like on the video too. That's really important for me, you know? Thanks again, guys, and we'll see you next time.